Good morning. It's raining and the rain's all coming in the garage, so I can't even open the door properly. Happy Monday. <laughs> July, gotta love July in Scotland. Right, so Monday 27th of July. <laughs> See, we're nearly out of it. The sun will come back out soon. Um, shilling. So we've got 16 minutes ascending ladder today. I'm going up. So you're going to start with one overhead squat and then you're going to do a step up on your right leg, step up on your left leg. And then you're going to do a Russian twist to the right, Russian twist to the left. Then it'll be two overhead squats and then two step ups right and left and then two Russian twists right and left and on up the ladder like that. So uh, just keep adding one rep every time you restart a round, one rep to each movement, and just keep doing that until you run out of time, 16 minutes. So for the step ups, the idea with putting step ups in today was to try and get people to go uh, use weight with them. Uh, so you can either use weight in each hand down by your side, you can put something on your shoulder like a sandbag, uh, whatever, just something awkward and kind of heavy, hold something here, 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 <laughs> um, so you can hold it wherever you want, but try and use some weight for the step ups. Uh, I'm going to say it today, the heavier the better, heavier for you, don't compare yourself to anyone else, just heavy for you. So for the overhead squats, you can use a broomstick, a bar, a single weight, double, two weights, single weight, blah, 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 and then the Russian twist, you're going to hold something in your hands. So let's have a look. Let's have a look. If I look like I'm limping at all, I'm at that age where I don't I don't injure myself exercising. I injure myself doing like random shit, like getting something out of my camper van. So yesterday I injured my knee reaching for something in my camper van. It happens when you get over 40. Everybody over 40 is nodding right now. <laughs> I'm, I'm joking a little, but I did injure my knee getting something out of the camper van. Um, so, overhead squats, right, let's have a look. Uh, The reason I disappeared off the side of the screen and paused there is because every time I get a bar from that corner over there, there's like giant spiders live over there. And the last time I pulled the bar away, a giant spider fell down. So, we're all good this time. Right, so, broomsticks are nice for overhead squats, especially if you've never done overhead squats with a barbell before. It's a wide grip, okay? So, a narrower grip's more stable, but it's much more difficult. Okay, so your mobility in your upper back can impair your ability to keep the, the weight, the bar in this case, positioned in a good overhead position. So this hurts my knee a little bit, I'll be all right for the demo. So try and turn the insides of your elbows towards the bar and try and turn your armpits forward. From there, it's just a little tension through your shoulders. Don't push up, don't pull down, just tension through your shoulders. Keep your heels down, hips go back, knees go out as you sit down into your overhead squat. Now, when you do that, you're gonna try and keep the weight above where you tie your shoelaces. What tends to happen with people with overhead squats is they do this and the weight comes away forward. They find it difficult to stay upright and keep the weight above that center point. So that's your challenge. If you wanna use a weight, like a bar, uh, that's your challenge, try and keep it above that centre point of balance. But it's cool, it's cool to try it, it's good to develop that as a skill. So, if you don't have a bar, and say you've got a couple of dumbbells, you can overhead squat with dumbbells together, but it's really difficult, uh, it's really difficult. Um, but if you've got the mobility for that, great. You can go one at a time. I guess you could hold it like this overhead. Also, really difficult. Oh God, just doable. 
uh, <laughs> more doable than I expected, not gonna lie. Um, and then if you've got something, a, just like a, a bag or a sandbag or something, again, hold that overhead. If you're a beginner, you can still do the overhead squats. You can do them with the bar, put it down. You can do it with the bar holding overhead. So if you're still struggling with the squatting part, just squat to, to a target, to a chair, to a stool, something like that. And you can do all of what I just showed you, but to a target. So that's fully overhead squats. For the step ups, it's a step up on one leg, stand right up. I'm just not sure how this is going to be on my knee, so caution, caution. Step up on the other leg, stand right up. Mm, okay, uh, that's that. So holding some sort of weight here, he, here, 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 doesn't matter. Uh, one handed, both hands, don't mind. But each round you'll do one on one leg, one on the other for one rep. Then on the next round you'll do two and two. And then you'll do three and three. I don't mind if you go one, one, two, two, three, three, doesn't matter. Uh, so make the step ups as high as you want, that just happened to be sitting there, does not need to be that high. Uh, or as low as you want, so it could be like an aerobic step, it could be that height, that's totally fine. Try and have some meaningful weight, definitely. Uh, so play around with the step ups, have some fun with them, try and make them interesting. Uh, I just realised on the whiteboard I've written step R, if anybody noticed that. It's Monday morning, no <laughs> break. Right, for the Russian <laughs> twists. <laughs> For the Russian twist, set on the floor. You could hold a cushion, okay, so if the weight's an issue, you could hold a cushion, this is an ad bat. You could hold a weight plate, you could hold a dumbbell, um, a water bottle with something in it. Uh, rice is quite good for filling up water bottles, so it'll go one, two, two, so it'll go one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, as you go up the ladder, okay? Every time the weight touches the ground, it's, a, it's half of your rep. So left is one, right is one, two, two, three, three. All right, you get that. I'm over explaining. Um, putting your feet on the floor makes it a wee bit easier. Okay. And if you, ow, if you struggle getting up and down on the, off the floor, like apparently I do today, um, then you can sit on something, just lean back a little with your weight. Same idea. That's it. Uh, come, sorry, that took me eight minutes. Who knows, Monday, Monday stuff, Monday problems. Monday problems and it's raining. I'm gonna go now, bye.